Hey everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Nintendo GameCube games on your Android device. This process is going to work for either phones or tablets. However, I do recommend having a device that is powerful enough to emulate games. So I'm using the Samsung S6 tablet today. I highly recommend Samsung's products. The S6, the S7, and beyond are just absolutely phenomenal, perfect for gaming on the device themselves. So definitely make sure that you have a reliable and powerful enough device before trying to emulate any GameCube games. So the first thing we need to do is we need to download the Dolphin emulator. There's two ways to do this. The easiest way is you can just go to your Play Store, go up to the top and type in Dolphin emulator. It's going to pop up like this. This is the icon over here. It's just a white background with a blue dolphin on it. You can hit download. It'll download super easily. That's the way that I did it. It's the easiest, most straightforward way to go about doing this. And now the other option is you can go to your browser and you can just navigate over to dolphin-mu.org. That's the Dolphin Emulator website. Up here in the top left corner, you'll notice there's a download tab. So if we hit the download tab, you can see that there's beta versions and there's also developmental versions of this particular emulator. So you can see here the beta versions are updated pretty recently, uh, a couple weeks ago, and then developmental versions are updated very frequently, uh, multiple times a day. So you can see this one was up here at the top, was downloaded or and made available uh, 14 minutes ago, the one below that 14 hours ago. So gives you a lot of different options here and you can see the tabs here for each of the available devices for the emulator. So Android is the last one on the list here. So this is a great way to go in and get a bunch of different versions available to you. However, the Play Store is the most straightforward way and it does work super well. That's what I did today. So once you've downloaded this, you just need to open it up. So I'm going to go in and open up my Dolphin emulator here. So here it is. I'll click in and this is how it opens up. Now you won't have any games in here if this is your first time jumping into the Dolphin emulator. I've been using this for a couple weeks now so I have a bunch of my favorite games already loaded in. Alright so now I'm going to show you how to add games to your Dolphin emulator. These I've already added in so we'll do a fresh one here. I just recently downloaded SSX Tricky which was the first GameCube game that I ever played. So now I'm going to go to my files so I'm actually going to jump out of the Dolphin emulator for now. And I'm going to go over to my files because I did just download this. I'm going to go to downloads. And right here at the top, you can see SSX Tricky. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to extract it because we can't drop in zipped ROMs. We have to extract them first. So extractions usually take anywhere from two to five minutes in most cases. Some take a little longer. Some are super quick. Just depends on the actual ROM itself. So again, this is an ISO. That is what I recommend for the Dolphin emulator. It's just going to give you the best experience possible. So we're going to let this extract and come back once it's finished. All right, so we just extracted SSX Tricky here. The extraction is 100% complete. So I'm just going to jump back into the Dolphin emulator here. And now it's time to add it in. So you'll notice that there's a circular purple button over here with a plus symbol in the bottom right corner. So we're going to click on that and we're going to navigate to our downloads. And here you can see SSX Tricky is right here. So we're going to click on that and you can see that it is extracted. So we're going to select it. And just like that, it'll drop it right into our Dolphin emulator. So when we first jump into a game now for the first time, it's actually going to have the onboard touchscreen controls already added in. Now you have to decide if you want to use those or if you want to pair a Bluetooth gamepad controller with your device and go that route. That's what I prefer doing. I like to have the most authentic experience possible. So I've picked up the Xlane Bluetooth GameCube controller. It's a Bluetooth gamepad controller. It's super easy to uh, pair up with any of your devices and if you're looking to pair a device you can just pull down the uh, top menu here make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled here and it's going to give you available options so if you are looking to pair a Bluetooth gamepad controller I'll show you real quick how to do that you just want to power on your Bluetooth device jump into pairing mode so usually that'll have a flashing light display and it'll populate down under available devices. So all you have to do is just click the device you want to pair. And once you select it from available devices and connect it, it will jump into this paired devices category up here like mine has. So you can see it says gamepad connected. 
And again, that's just my Xlane Bluetooth GameCube controller. So we'll hit done. So now if we wanna go and map that particular controller that you've paired, you could just go up to settings up here in the top right corner, and you're going to go to GameCube input. So here you always have a couple different options here. So the first one is emulated. And in most cases, when you first download the Dolphin emulator, that is going to say emulated and it's going to be your on-screen controls. So if we go over to um, emulated, you can see here that I've remapped it from those on-screen controls to my gamepad. So all you do is you just click each of the options. So for A, you'll click A and then you'll hit A on your gamepad controller here, and you can see that it populates right in. So these have already been done, but you just have to go through each option, um, you know, both for your buttons, as well as your control stick, C stick, triggers, D-pad. And then rumble down here is the option to have your actual device uh, rumble and vibrate along with the game. So I actually disabled that just because I'm not actually holding my tablet when I'm gaming. Since I'm not using those onboard controls, I'm using the separate controller, so it doesn't make sense to have that. But if you are using the on-screen controls, then the rumble function is really nice. It just gives you a more interactive uh, gameplay. So we're going to back out of this. All right, so it's time to jump into a game now that we walk through all the um, controls and how to add games. So I'm just gonna jump into a quick game to get into. Uh, SSX Tricky is not the quickest one to jump into. So I'm going to jump into uh, Mario Kart Double Dash here. You just select it. It instantly boots right up. And everything just works super smooth with these. So we'll just jump into a really quick demo here just to show you that there's no lags, there's no delays, there's no issues whatsoever. So it's super smooth, really a really nice gameplay. It's really hard to believe that it emulates this well on a tablet or on a phone, so just couldn't be happy with the experience. So I'm gonna jump out of this game. You can see everything is just perfect in every way on here. So in order to exit games, you can just swipe up on your actual screen, hit the back button, and then you'll get this uh, little settings menu here that pops up on the left hand side. We'll just hit exit emulation. All right, so that's pretty much it in terms of how to play GameCube games on the Dolphin emulator. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in the comment section below. We're always happy to help in any way possible. We're also gonna put together some other tutorial videos just to walk through various other functions and features within the Dolphin emulator and other emulators for different game collections. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different videos based around retro gaming. We do product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials like this one, just a lot of great stuff in general. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.